Welcome everybody to our live stream here on Lee Chess and Twitch. Asturbate. Quote Master. Sheber Spieler, what's up? Sheber Spieler is too strong for Simo stream. Sheber Spieler, thanks for your help in our victorious run at the streamer battle today. Even without Swuss, otherwise known as someone on sound, our team was able to finally win a we actually were able to finally win a, a streamer battle. So, much thanks to Sheber, Spieler, and Butchuk, and everyone else who played in today's battle first time. There are only three teams, so sort of reduced field, but still, you know, we, we finished ahead of two strong teams. Good job, guys. Thanks for your help. So, it's time for serious business now. The fun is over. The fun of 3-0 Blitz Chess is over. Now it's serious chess. Mr. Coffee, good morning. How are things in Harrisburg? We finally made it to first place. Mr. Slow, you were unable to attend today's victorious streamer battle. Good to see you. Mr. Coffee as well. Good to see you guys, but you're all part of the the victory. Even if you weren't there, your su support on a weekly basis. Mr. Coffee, Mr. Slow, all the misters. Thanks, guys. So congratulations to everybody. Good job. All right, guys, we're starting a simul. It's um, every Sunday, just like this, 6.30. It's time to start. And we're in here it's host a new simul i am sparkle horse simul i'm going to put the link here as soon as i start it up guys please remember to support the stream and donate i've got the paypal link in there if anyone wants to make a donation very appreciated twitch tv link we've got youtube channel also appreciate it miro good to see you simul just started so here's the link shiver spiller just gifted wow Dude, super generous. Sheber Spieler is also streaming, guys. Don't forget to check him out. Sheber Spieler gifted a tier one to the community. It goes to Passons, Passons L. Community, thank you. Chef Master, welcome, Mr. Miro BTW. Sheber Spieler, super generous, guys. Check his stream out. He not only helped us to win the team battle with the gold medal today but also hosts his own channel here on twitch so guys please support shiver spieler as well key component of today's team next week he'll be playing for the other team so let's just enjoy it while we can all right guys i take 25 players in um we take 25 players here in classical simul it lasts up to three hours so please don't play if you're going to play like it's a bullet game I'll even sometimes resign if people just play like ridiculously fast, regardless of the position. I did that last week. One guy was like, why did you resign? I simply am not going to play while people amass like 30 plus minutes. You won't play in the near future. All right, Shiver Spiller, concentrate on school. We've got to read the, the simul description here. Weekly classical simul for Twitch subscribers and friends via leechess.org. Please support the stream and donations are welcome. I put in the PayPal link, the Twitch link. Please follow, subscribe on YouTube. Here are the simul rules. Please don't play bullet speed. As I said, this is a long simul. Do not play unless you can stay up to three hours. Please spare me from the London system. Extremely boring and uninteresting. I try to play different openings and mix it up. I also play uh, both colors to make the sound more interesting. Good luck everyone, welcome to up to 25 players. Jim, good to see you. All right, so let's get some admissions here. Jim, Jim is practically a VIP. Mr. Slow is a VIP, just he doesn't wanna be a VIP. He's an unofficial VIP. The VIPs first, where's Asturbate? VIP and VIP like Morales is, is VIP. Asterbeat, you're not in the list, man. Where are you? 
Please resign. Queen trades are not welcome. Uh, Sir Bate, where are you? Shira Spiller is not allowed to play. He is a VIP. There's Asturbate. He's too strong for the simul. Alright. Guys, please support my efforts here. We got a lot of entries today. So I can take up to 25 players. Someone on sound posted the link there in the chat. The best way to get accepted is to ask him here. I don't know. In English is best. My Russian's a little rusty. All right, never was very good. Spasiba. So what do we got for subscriber? Subscriber challenges. Who are subscribers? Are there any subscribers? Nudge Papa. Ruslan is is not clear if Ruslan is a subscriber. Someone on sound definitely in Sumahair, I think, was a subscriber. Ayesta, maybe. Cheesy Noob is. Chef Master, were you a subscriber? Saw Chef Master wandering around. Yep. Let me know if you guys are subscribers. Hey, it's Miro. Man, that Blitz tournament takes something out of me. You're a VIP, I get the sub, I lead the team in Mega Battle, and not allowed to play. Shiver Spiller, you seriously want to play? I feel like you're overqualified, man. I don't accept anybody over 2400. Alright, not just you. It's more of a general rule. Ayesta, Yevgeny, where's Yevgeny? Ayesta is, Bijak is in. Who else are subscribers? Suggestions? I don't know about Imre, Ayesta might be. Where's Cheesy Noob? Cheesy Noob's not in? Where's Mr. Slow? There he is. He's in already. Okay, we've got 11 accepted players. Three thousand players only. Magnus Carlson has played in Cheever Spieler Simuls before. Mr. Slow just gifted a tier one sub to live for chess. Live for chess. If you're out there, let me know. George Papats just said, I have follow you at Twitch. Copy07. I don't know when we will play. We start in a few minutes. We've got 11 players thus far. Any other subscribers? Amiboid might be a subscriber. I guess I'm guessing. This guy wants to play from Greece. He's got the Dimitri ratings. Are you serious? Another Dimitri? He's named George. George Alexopoulos. All right. We don't know what happened to George. Kasparov, are you? Amantis asks, could you accept me please? Ant asked politely, whoa, 2245, and I'm 0-1 against them? I want to see this. Yeah, what was that about? No. That was the game where I resigned because you played bullet chess. No, not going to happen. All right, next. The bullet player is not getting in. I asked everybody not to do that. I asked that. 
I resigned the last time because you, you had 30 minutes left and you didn't follow my request not to play bullet. Legion, Legion. 10 year old. Region, Legion. Who else are subscribers and friends of the stream here? Mirror Disaster, I don't think I played last time. We need some new players. They're all brutal. A praying mantis. If you guys are subscribers, you can play. Who else are subscribers? It's not in the list. Any other subscribers? And no, I don't accept people who play bullet chess. They play master level bullet chess or I am level bullet chess. Mr. So just donated gifts out to BG777. BG's been here quite a bit. BG, are you into playing in this thing? Is BG out there? 345 gifts. Very generous, this guy. What are we doing? BG, what's your name on Lee Chess? We got to start in like five minutes. BG, you have to join the list to join the simul. Here's the list. Who's Rocket Bomber? Why? You just like that name? You have to try to enter, and I'll accept you if I see your name. You gotta follow the link there, BG. The link is in the stream on the Twitch chat. Any other subscribers? You wanna take Ruslan? I don't want to play the same players every week unless you guys are subscribers. Let's see if Brian can get that figured out. Sumit Sumil Mitra might be a subscriber. I'm not sure. I just took your your challenge. You're not a subscriber. You should be. So Hissignus is here. Wow, another brutal opponent. Man, just what I needed. Here's a link. You gotta click on this link and join. Thanks for actually is Hissignus here or is that just like is that just like giving gift subs to random followers? Tall Magical Flamingo. All right. The Chess Lover is, it's a popular name. Can we get Brian? All right. We've got 23 players, two more to go. He's just not taking part. Your sons are on the list, Iron Man, Reza, and Drist. How many chess players can you can you get here? <laughs> I don't see Iron Man. I don't see those guys in the list. You see it, dudes? GM Tranquilizer, I don't understand. Are you supposed to be Dweeb? That's your account? I got Iron Man. Just three entries. Dweeb is a sub? Are, are you, you really? How do you know that, GM Tranquilizer?
Why would you say that? This is because I don't know how I can take this many players. It's pretty hard. That puts me over the limit. I don't know, GM Tranquilizer. You're you're kind of trolling my stream here. I think we lost someone. Could it be Bob? No. All right, I'm gonna have to time you out. You gotta stop trolling me. So, it looks like that's it. We've got 24 players. Someone got knocked out. Iron Man got knocked out. Last call. We're really late to start here. He died in the end game. Someone ask Kareem, please. I like it when people ask politely. All right, guys, that's 25 players. I'm going to start. Oh, somebody just bailed at the last minute. We got 24. Who was the lucky? Who was the lucky person who bailed at the last minute on me? When do I finish my stream tomorrow? Um, yeah, normal time around 1.15. We lost someone at the last minute jumping out of the simul. Were they pushed? Hint, the troll is in your simul. Possible. I can't remember who I put in and who I didn't. I'm sorry for whoever jumped out at the last minute. Someone probably closed their browser window. So we're starting with just 24. Literally the second when I was about to click the button. <laughs> yeah, the troll is in my summer. I know. I mean, they weren't bothering me until the last couple minutes. The insistence on, on other people entering the simul was kind of weird. I'm starting to think, like, they've got two accounts or something like that. Why, why insisting that some random people are subscribers? Yeah, 115, we should be done tomorrow. Cheaper, if you if you want to stream, I'll be here and, and do a raid. I um appreciate it helping out with the team battle today. Who got knocked out? Any any notifications yet? Astrobe, did you make it in? Sorry guys, a few people like Great Lazarus just arrived, but this is already late for me. If I start now, I can't finish my stream before like 10 o'clock. I can't hold off any longer. Um, it's already a five minute late start. B Doc made it. You were you were plenty on time. I like to start by six forty five. We're a couple minutes late as it is.
I've got two people playing the Dutch. One of them has to be Cheesy New. Bishop G5 is like anti Cheesy New. Live for Chess is a subscriber. Welcome, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I've got several Karo Khans. A Nimzovich. You guys, you don't know what he plays against the Karo. Why are you asking that question, Antonio? That's a suspicious question to ask. Um, Gambits. I try to keep the Sen upon loss under 50. It's a long game. I don't play trashy Gambits in standard live for chess I'm playing 25 people at the same time my level goes down by about 500 points at this pace and I don't play gamma style chess you know normally but I definitely can't do that in a 25 board simul all right I'm not sure you understand how hard it is to play this many players in a non-clock simul. If if I had unlimited time, like I might in a in an over-the-board simul or something like that, I could play more interesting stuff. But I don't have time to calculate. You can't play gambits if you don't have time to calculate, or you can't play you know tactically, really tactical style chess. I'm very limited tactically with the amount of time that I have. I have to kind of keep the game sort of safe and positional based. Play a safer style than I would in one-on-one -on -one game where I would have much more time to, to calculate long variations. This is Cheesy Noob. I'm already sure. I think he might have played g6 against me once before. The main move is actually h6. I think it's h4 now. I remember... I remember some very old game now coming back to me from like 30 years ago. I didn't play, but I saw next to me. Sometimes I remember the games that we witnessed adjacent to the board we played on. Well, I think G G6 is is not that unusual. But it's not considered the main line. What's happening with the the Tata Tata tournament. I don't really like Tata because it. I don't know. It, it's not that elite. There's like four really elite players and then those other guys. And that's the way it is every year. I miss things like Linares. Everyone was like top 10, typically. Bishop d3. This is actually not a bad move. We haven't seen that in a while. I can't believe they're holding the Tata -ta tournament though. What happens if somebody gets sick? It's like the tournament's down the toilet. That's what happened in the Russian Super Final. What are they gonna do when one of the players comes down with COVID in the middle of the event? It's almost like inevitable. The Australian Open. Yeah, Magnus sacked two pawns, apparently, in the first round to win. I didn't see the game. A Chigorin, uh-oh. What if, what if Cheesy Noob's really playing the Chigorin? Somebody play Queen F6. Black 
Boris Basinski, this Fide Master. I knew years ago, played that. He played it against Fedorovich and lost. So this is Jim. We've already identified two people. Not again, Jim. I got Jim with a variation again? How do I choose to play the Karo Khan every single game against Jim? Like, what is the chance of that? Now it's Karo Khan every time. Wow, Nimzo's rare. I guess the ladies didn't want to um, get COVID as much as the guys do. You'd think with uh, with the Queen's Gambit, there'd be more incentive to get a woman player in the Tata tournament. I mean, who you fan is is like the only like uber strong player among the women. And I guess she's quit chess or something. Wasn't she like studying or something? I don't know. I don't know anything about chess gossip. Play the night orf. I don't know the night orf. I just remember who you fan played in Tata before. The time she lost the drawn king and pawn in game against Magnus. Not known for her king and pawn in game technique. That hurt. Queen f6 followed by a6. Wow. Pretty wild stuff here. Thanks for the less cheesy. Guys, please support the stream. Mr. Slohan donated a gift sub or two. But we could use all the support we can get. I was kind of hoping for a bit, bit war tonight. <laughs> I guess that's not happening. All right. So this variation again could be Acerbate. Who plays Bishop D3? Can you copy and paste the list somewhere? Madramus, you sent me the list already. Are you asking me to copy and paste the list? I've got the list. Do you want me to copy and paste it for some reason? I can copy it. Why do you want me to copy and paste it? Just for my own benefit, you mean? Mr. Coffee's got it. C3 here? Now, I understand C3 against C5, but here it's not, not really usual for white to play that. I mean, C3 is a slow move. But I think it's justified against C5. You're way afraid, afraid away from the chat, okay. Oh man, Jim, or Morales. Jim, are you in the simo? I can't remember anything. We just had the same game with Morales the other day. So Morales could be the Karo Khan or the, the Budapest Gambit. Goodness, what is that? What is that? It's not the Colorado Gambit, but it's something kind of closely related. Experimental openings. Morales, what are you talking about? You never play the fried liver. Uh-oh. A3 again. So that's definitely him. Morales gave himself away. Wait. H5? We 
We try to guess who the opponents are among the regulars to my stream. Guys, please tell your friends and family and chess playing buddies about the stream so we have enough viewers to do this for another year. I'm going to play a C5. I've played the main line. I haven't played a main line classical Nimzo in a while. I've been kind of avoiding the main lines there. So, so a couple of Englishes. Look at this player with H5. A Richter Rouser with white. I'm black, actually. All different stuff. This should be five. This is Astrobate. Smells like Astrobate. The C3. And then Bishop B5 check. It's not necessarily him, but it could be him. The way he said he messed up the opening makes me suspicious. Against the Budapest, you found a way to get an advantage. We don't know if Morales has to be white. This has to be Jim. So we figured them both out. Do you guys get together? Yeah, we figured out who Tranquilizer is. Maybe I'll play the um, the World Loser attack against the Budapest. I'm kind of sleepy too, honestly. I don't know what's up with me, but... Igera. Igera. Igera Ide. What is this? The taxi driver variation, the tempo down. Whatever. So that's the weirdest chest in the in the simul that F five thing. Is Yeroon in the simul? Let me check. Check our list here. Yeroon's not in the simul. But he did play in our team today. Somebody's playing the Somebody's playing the uh the Stonewall attack against me. C3 Sicilian. Mr. Slip plays C3 Sicilian. Astrobate could play it too. Masturbate never plays c3 on move 2 usually. I hope we're losers not in the simul. He plays the semi Tarash. Sorry, semi Slav. I'm just not really prepared to play a semi Slav. My theory is 15 years old, and I haven't been playing real d4 games with white since a long time. So this player is not Astrobate. He wouldn't be up to 24 minutes. I ask everybody not to play Bullet. Please don't play Bullet. Sometimes the little kids are going to do that, though. Maybe they're not really listening to the to request not to play super fast. So I guess this is one of the kids. Kids, if you're listening, try to take, you know, 30 seconds per move, not to to play super fast. It makes it hard for me to play everybody if we got the bullet chest going on. Oh no, and the draw offer. Oh. Just resign then, you know, instead of offering a draw after dropping a pawn. Better to just resign. Now this I thought might be Cheesy Noob, but um, doesn't look that way. Even Cheesy Noob wouldn't go that far. 
I've said that to myself before and been surprised. It might be him. Yeah, it's very weird stone wall with bishop b5. I suspect. Knight e2 is actually a good move by white here. We've analyzed this before. Jason. Jason and Freddy Krueger. Death chess match. This is so Astrobate. It's ridiculous. Most of Astrobate's favorite moves, including, but not limited to, C3 and A4. Astrobate, that's super suspicious, dude. But the pace of play is a little quick. Usually Astrobate's been out for like a smoke break by this point. He wouldn't have 24 minutes. Imagine that. One of the trolls already like resigned. That's how I have a win. This is weird, man. I don't love this. What is this? How does White have time for this? How do I get my pieces developed here? I guess I'm going to have to play a6. The problem is getting my king side sorted out. So this was the world loser variation, queen d5 right away, right? That doesn't seem right. That was a different position though. Check, bishop d7, queen c4. Masturbate like that could be him every game is like somebody playing c3 against me it's like a conspiracy everyone imitates life into imitates Astrobate. when life imitates art i know who this could be wasn't um Immediate bishop f6. h3 with the big hole on that square. Gambits. Somebody asked me to play gambits today. There you go. Diga Mignon says, what, what, we, what have we learned on stream? Play c3 in order to gain profit.
Not sure about that. C3 is is a move. This bishop e5 thing is popular today as well, like Karo Khan and the the stone wall. Both games where white has like all their pawns on dark squares and they're playing like bishop e5, giving away their good bishop. This is Miralis, Mr. Miralis. This experimental variation. I'm not sure who this is exactly. It's not Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee, you're not playing, right? I hope Mr. Coffee's not playing. Here's our list. That would throw me off if Mr. Coffee was in there. Someone on sound, the Meboid. Um, Mr. Slowhand. I feel like ten year old is the Grunfeld. The Grunfeld style position. He's played like that before, maybe. Is it just my imagination? Mainline English. World Loser could play the Grunfeld too, maybe. It's funny, I can't remember everything. Forgetting your guys' is, your guys is. Is that grammatically correct to say your guys is? Somehow I don't think so. I'm forgetting your guys' openings. Your guys' is? Knight d2, knight c4, queen c4, knight e5, queen b5 check. Alright, we got it covered. Nervous there for a moment. He's got queen knight b6, but queen d3. So, okay. This this is a little kid playing white, definitely. Little kid, please don't play all your moves in 30 seconds. Or less. Actually use a little bit of time. Pleases. It pleases me to introduce you. I started playing the Grunfeld more frequently. More frequently than Zero. I gave it up in like 1991. But heck, it's just a chess stream. I can I can play anything I want. So, 97. Yeah, let's do 97. So I don't know the theory of this, frankly. H6. This is other little kid. But I don't see the point in playing in a classical Simon where you're just going to play all your moves instantly. What is the point of playing in this? People. The 24 and 25 minutes players. The one offered a draw here. Why would I take a draw on move 10 upon up? This is just disappointing. I used to play the odd poker till COVID. I would play live every week, but, but the games are gone now. No one wants to get COVID. I don't want to get it. Poker is like the perfect environment for spreading COVID. Like nine people or 10 people crowded around the table. It's gonna destroy poker. I'm just sad not to play poker. It's depressing. And it was a social thing for me too. Knight to d7. That is a weird move, in a way. Never seen anyone play that before.
how can you play novelty here on move 9 or something? God. You might want to skip this end mode. There are at least three games in which the sign will just never take you there. Like, what does that do, Antonio? What What is leaving Zemo going to do? Eventually, it always gets sorted out. But these players are pissing me off now. The insta-movers. I might just, like, resign those games against the players the 25 minutes. It's starting to piss me off. I asked everybody not to do that. And they do it anyway. I suspect the kids. But they shouldn't be playing if they can't take their time. I think this is book. Right, I have the ability, but I mean, are you serious? There's like... There's some board where there's literally no moves played? Are you sure? I mean, I do this every week. This has not never happened that it was really bad. Maybe they just didn't move. No? Alright, this is pissing me off. I'm just going to resign this. They're just moving instantaneously, and it's exactly what I don't want to deal with. That game is done. So there's some games that I didn't get to at all. Where? I asked people not to play Bullet, but George couldn't abide by the rules, so I've left that game. I didn't make move one. What? Where are they? Why can't I see all the games? I can't even see the list here. Why can't I even see all my games? Auto switch, no. How do I get to the other boards? I don't even know how to get there, honestly. Alright, go back to main simul. So where's these games that are on move one? That you're talking about? I don't see any games that are on move one, Antonio. Do you? I'm, I'm not really seeing the game you're talking about. Are you sure? Because I, I don't... It looks like every game is is underway. You know, I think you, you, you raised a false flag there. Why is... Now it's not auto-switching. Damn. I gotta go back. We saw the, uh, we saw the, the game. Yeah, Antonio, you just false flagged it. Now you ruined our Zen mode, man. <laughs> Mr. Slowhand. Is the English. It's alright. I'm kind of pissed at those two players who are using no time. They're messing things up. I don't appreciate that either. There's no way anybody should have 26 minutes. At least take 30 seconds for your moves. I'm not here to do bullet simuls. You're gonna take away your VIP status. Completely believed him. Unbelievable. George's are just problems. Who could this be? <laughs> I didn't see this one. Astrobate accidentally resigned?
the Nephilim system. He would do that weird night on BD7 sometimes. I'm going to do the best I can. What's wrong? Who's escaping? Someone that sound what happened. Dude, what is this player's deal? Also annoying. They offered a draw on move three, and now they're playing bullet. Asturbate left. Is that why you're screaming? No? Yeah, that sucks. Alright, we'll do the best we can, guys. Can't trust these VIPs. Oh, Queen A4 in the stone wall. I knew I was going to get in trouble here. Could Cheesy Noob have played the stone wall? That would make sense. This would be something he would do. Potentially. I wouldn't be surprised if this was Cheesy Noob. I have to sack a pawn, probably. Bob sack a pawn to... Man, I don't like it. I don't have to sack a pawn, but I mean... Alright, what are we going to do? Here. I suspect that was that's cheesy new. Suddenly. I know this is... This has got to be Jim. Playing the super early Rook H6. Jim slash Antonio. Jim Tonio. This must be a strong player. That's a weird combination. Bishop e5 in the rouser. You don't see that every day. So check it out, it was a modern defense move order. That's either Chef Masta or, or Turkey Farm. That's weird, how can black play like that? Almost like violating fundamental principles. Knight d7 and knight h5 and everything's fine. That's disturbing. That bothers me. Theoretical Nimzo. Who plays the classical? Nimzo with white here. That looks like book too. Aspect, you played like three moves. Knight g3 so early, wow. Crazy. Got some weird, very weird play with white in the Karo Khans. A normal mainline. Grunfeld. I think they should be in the bullet simul. You missed the bullet simul. 97 Grunfeld person. Maybe chess is the wrong game. You should try 
something faster paced where you don't have to think. If you're playing, you know, the whole game in like negative five minutes, you're probably playing the wrong, the wrong game here. I'm trying to remember who have I faced that plays the white side of the classical Nimzo. Here. This unfortunately I spotted. It's, um, it's Mr. Slow. That doesn't count as a guess. We've already lost Astrobate, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to guess anyone. But almost every game I play, they're just instantly making a move. Like, no one thinks on their moves at all. This player thought a little. But maybe I should just give up and just play Bullet Simuls. And stop even doing this. Did I guess Acerbate right? See, that's why he, he resigned. That's why he left, so I wouldn't get credit. I'm wondering about this player. I suspected possibly Cheesy Noob. This is ridiculous. Again, why why are you playing instantaneous moves every turn? I don't understand why I bother trying to play serious games with people like this. who are just going to make instant moves. Why do I bother even doing these simuls, honestly, when most people don't even appreciate it? This is another example. What are you doing? You offer me a draw and you just play every move in like zero seconds. Why even bother? Astrobate, thanks for the donation, man. If only Astrobate could enter again. If you have more than 20, 22 minutes now, you're not using your time. Maybe chess isn't for you if you have more than, than 23, 24 minutes at this point. Tic-tac-toe or some other game, some other strategy game would perhaps be better. <sighs> Look at this. This is someone on sound, and he's playing bullet too, it seems like. I'm giving up on the Zen mode for today, guys. It was a little messed up. Too many people are playing uber fast. It book for you, someone on sound. Not for me. I mean, I'll let you go on that, but I don't think Ruslan's position in this book. And every every time, it's the last time I accept him, really. Every time we play, it's the same thing, and I keep letting him in the simuls. I don't know why. He's got 21 minutes, just plays random moves, and tries to win on time. We can't even attempt to play a normal game against the players who do this. Why don't you just play in like a five minute simul instead? I've got to remember the theory here. I have to remember the people who played bullet and disallow them from the simuls. I've, I've warned Ruslan before. But I just keep letting him, letting him do it.
I will just protest resign if anybody has more than 24 25 minutes at this point you need to actually use a little bit of time and actually think okay this is theory we may have played that once before thanks to those of you who do actually use your time Sumahara is playing fast but it's it's still theory, I think. Maybe we did play. If not with you, then with other other player I've played this line. Ten year old exchanged on H three. Mainline, Grunfeld. Am I supposed to take? I am, right? Oh, we had the same line as well. So I've had a number of games with people. Does Legion, Legion play E4 and D4? He's beaten me almost every game. He has 11 and a half, four and a half now. But he did lose once. <laughs> um, yeah. It's weird to see your names, guys. This is Praying Mantis with a super weird play with knight h5 and bishop h6 also playing bullet at 1394 check this move out bishop g5 whoa Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. I didn't guess anybody. I knew this was cheesy new. I had the feeling I didn't know it was him, but I did have I had the right idea. I suspected this was cheesy new and I was right. Amiboy hasn't lost in years here as well. He's got 19 minutes. This was Jim. We would have guessed that. I suspected you could have been you, Asturbate, yes. Was that the weird game with A4? I don't know how um, Jim and Morales are so closely related. I still think they could be the same person secretly. Do you guys study the Budapest Gambit together for real? You secretly meet online to talk about this variation? What are the chances? <sighs> I don't know. I liked it better when it was in Zen mode. I think I like it better with Zen mode. Actually, I don't want to see who I'm playing.
Repeat is a weird move. Seeing who I'm playing is like making me think more. Which is bad. I start to analyze, overanalyze what's happening. Analyze or overanalyze? So I'm gonna sound the first time in my life I've ever played this variation. Well, in a longer than than Blitz game, let's say. Too many sketchy characters in the simul. We have to have a cleansing soon. <laughs> All right. It's been ages since I looked at this. Man, Knight F5? I can't remember. I mean, Knight E4 F5? I can't remember this. Queen B3? Dude, seriously? You know this line? This was good for white when I looked at it with an engine. And now I can't remember what the move is. Knight e4, f5, c4, isn't that it? I'm gonna have to just give less time, I think, moving forward. It's too much time. Everyone should have like five minutes or something. Maybe they'll appreciate their time more if I give them five minutes. It won't make them play slower though. I think the problem is with Lee Chess, there's just too many of these players who are doing these like five minute simuls. And then everyone is just accustomed to that. So basically nobody plays this time control and people don't even know what to do. They're like addicted, just addicted to playing instantly. I should definitely give less time. It's ridiculous. No one even uses five minutes of their time. What's the point? Or maybe cut out the increment altogether. There's gotta be less time for people. It's just brutal on me. Dude, you have more time than almost anybody, someone on sound. You have 18 minutes here, and you're still in book. Most are down to like 15 or 14 minutes. The average is about 15. It looks like. I guess I should have played a different move there. I might as well have retreated. This is ridiculous. This is the chess lover guy, right? 20 minutes left.
I mean, this is still book here. There will be a cleansing. I'm not going to play suspicious players next time. Too many of them now. Especially Morales and Jim. <laughs> Someone on sound. You play exactly like Morales. You guys play like the exact same game. Seriously? What happened? I just moved castles and you played A3. Yeah, the players playing the bullet just don't care. Exactly. This is Morales? Mirales, it's you? Yeah, this is him. <sighs> I don't like the way I played this. In retrospect. Thanks to those of you who actually used a few minutes to think. I really try to play quality games, but if no one gives me any time to think, I can't. So it just sort of loses its point. This must be a strong player. Is this like World Loser or something? I realize you guys don't have that much time. But far more than I do. Wow, and White's play in this game is brutal. I probably missed a chance here. Knight e2 is an excellent move. Now I'm just worse. It's ugly. So. I mean, this really, 20 minutes left? Yeah. Still theory. He's following the opening book. The cleansing next week. Dude, you've used two minutes for the whole game. And you're 1300. All right, whatever. What am I gonna do with that bishop? F4, yes. Of course. Still book. I always make like the worst possible opening choices against someone on sound. bad feeling about that game. Bishop E2. Surprising. Okay, let me understand this now. 
Right. Mm hmm. Three minutes for the whole game. What is this? Oh, his bishop was on h6. You played bishop c3. Whatever. Congratulations on your bullet win. instantaneous moves. Everybody just plays instantaneous moves. I give up. I really do. Those players who play bullet here, like Master Strength Bullet, I am not going to play you again. It's the last time. Seriously. If you have a record against me that's like one loss in 20 games, I am not playing you in the next simul, period. Last time I'm going to say this. It's it's ridiculous. I don't care if you're a subscriber to my stream or not. If you have a record that's like 20 games, no losses, it's done. I, I don't understand the point of playing in the Simo. I really don't get it. You never make a blunder in 20 classical games. I am done with this. You're not fooling anybody. You know who you are. Just hung a piece against one player. Just like the pressure is unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's like everyone moves instantaneously. Let's just play bullet. What's the difference? Here, I'll just play bullet moves, okay? Let's all just, play, let's just play bullet. Here, h5, whatever. I'll just make instantaneous moves in every game and not even think. Why don't we do it that way? It's easier this way. I'm not even going to think about my moves. I'll play like you guys. We'll just make instantaneous moves on every, every board. Okay? Let's do it that way. I don't see the point. We'll get it done faster anyway. It just pisses me off, you know? I hung a piece against that guy because everybody else is playing bullet. Let's just play bullet here. I'm not even going to think about my moves anymore. I can play bullet. I can play like that. It's enough. You know, I'm not going to play these people. If you have a ridiculous score against me, you're banned from the simuls starting tonight. I'm serious. And you know who you are. And I'm not going to name names. I'm just not going to play them. Period. I am pissed off. This is annoying. Instantaneous moves from everybody. Almost everybody. I know there's a few of you who aren't doing it. But I'm not going to bother to think. You know, If you guys are going to think, I'm not going to think. We'll just play bullet. It's ridiculous. Maybe I'll take some time against the players who actually think, but the rest I'm just going to play as if it's bullet. It's just hard to mitigate like who's taking their time and who's not. It's hard to tell. I don't have the time to really differentiate. It's just so irritating. Every single board is like moving. No one ever really thinks. This is this is who? This is Morales, right? Yeah, I'm in trouble here. This is deep. This is a terrible position for black.
No, I'm not going to waste my time. There are certain players who are who are done. It doesn't depend if you're a subscriber or not. I don't care. I just won't play you anymore. This guy, for example, Ruslan plays instantaneous moves, doesn't seem to think. What's the point of playing in a simul? Honestly. I just don't see the point. Let's just agree to a draw. I'll just offer draws to the instant movers. Or whatever. The unbeatable players. Little tilted. Dubious. Dubious opponents who vary in strength by 700 points every game. That's enough of that. At least Cheesy Noob is. Cheesy Noob is strange, but he, he tries. I'm going to get my queen trapped here. He's taking his time. I appreciate this. Cheesy Noob is actually taking his time. He's used almost half. I think that's like the maximum. CD4, ED4, Knight D4, Pawn D4, Queen D4, check, King H1, Queen A1. And now he can trap my queen with Bishop A2 or Bishop B2. This tactic is interesting. My queen gets trapped at the end when I grab that. I could sack the piece for like three pawns also. So I get the two rooks, but I'm down a piece. It's just a little bit too unclear. I don't think it's good enough. I don't I'm not interested in in playing this anymore. Seriously. The people who can't lose us in 20 games are, are not legit. You know? That's not funny anymore. It's like you're mocking my stream. We're laying down the law today. I'm not going to waste my time. If I feel like someone is wasting my time, I'm just not going to play them anymore. Period. The road... The road is at an end. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Someone on sound is, is too... He's expert in this. I'm in trouble. This was a draw declined. Thirteen ninety four. Use four minutes for the game. You're thirteen ninety four. How are you 1394 and used four minutes for the game and you're declining my draw? Like seriously. What what is that? Like honestly. What is going on with that account? I'd like to know. I really, really would. Like why how is that possible? Anonymous Gifter, thank you. Seven minutes. Whew. Simuls have to be revised from next week. I'm just pissed off.
we're in trouble. Not surprisingly, we're in trouble here. Wow, I missed this move. Big trouble. Cheesy Nupu actually plays quickly a lot. In this case, he's taking his time. We have to get some new players who actually care about playing chess. Lemire de Sacre is down to six minutes. I'm going to have to take that. I don't know what to do. Tilted. Tilted Simul. And some of that sound is just too good. <sighs> Morales is killing me too. I'm just resigning this game. I don't want to do it anymore. Enough is enough. Any sort of suspicious players that I can't beat in 20 games, I am not going to play them anymore. It's enough. The jig is up, as they say. If I can't beat you, you know, more than one game out of 20, you shouldn't be playing in the simul. There should be no interest in it. What would be the point? Evgeny is so solid, it's tough to play against him. <sighs> when is the main in one threat coming? There has to be a main in one there. Astrobe, I'm disappointed that you you actually left the simul. <sighs> Jim is tough. Man, you guys are good. Too many unbeatable opponents in this simul. Morales is playing like God. Truly strong player. You got this down to a science now. How do I end up playing the Carol Khan against you every single game? What is the chance of that? Seriously. 
That's like the fifth Karakhan in a row against Morales. Before it was like always the Grand Prix attack. Man, this looks bad. I don't like one thing about this position. So you have four wins, three draws, three losses. Thus far. Almost, that's, hey, it's Miro. Well played. Rook B8 was a bit weird. I am not going to play this player anymore. I'm just done. Done playing you. Playing bullet chess. And not respecting what I do here. Ruslan is, is not going to play. That account is finished. In my simuls. For weeks and weeks, I say it and I let him back in again. He's got 18 minutes left. It's ridiculous. Why are you wasting my time? Jim plays fast too. He does that a lot in bullet chess. I like Jim. Gotta think of a better way to structure this simul. What's up, B5? Man. Jim plays fast too. He has 10 minutes left though. It's brutal how strong he is. And plays fast. Not easy to deal with. Alright. Oh, you know, Genny is strong. So many strong players. My god. I don't even understand what I did wrong in this game. Why is Mr. Slowhand 1758 provisional? What is that about? You're 1758 provisional? Dude, seriously? Nice rating. How would Mr. Slow be 1758 provisional in classical chess? He's just like wiping me out in like a mainline English 20 moves in theory. Nice rating, what is that about? You should be like 2000 easy. Yeah, I mean, given our rating differences, your score is a little low, uh, Word Elric, but... Because I'm tired of like six or seven people in the simul who cheat. That's what I'm sick of. And not Mr. Slowhand. Master Chef. Normally I don't say anything about it, but it's gotten on my nerves. So I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I really am. It's the last time for a bunch of people that are playing these simuls that aren't going to play anymore. There's, there's rapid play and there's also cheating going on with a number of accounts. And I'm just going to have to to stop it. You know, a bunch of people I'm not going to play anymore. If you've played me like 19 games and you've only lost once on time because of some kind of freak blunder, I'm not going to play you anymore. If your rating strength or your strength of play varies by like 500 points from week to week, I'm not going to play you anymore. We're basically playing 3-0. Yeah, I mean, that's what, what it comes down to. Maybe I'll play less players with, uh, with more serious time control. On a weekly basis, because it's starting to completely piss me off. This player is not 1300. What What is going on with this, this player? How can you be 1300? What kind of joke is that? Like, seriously. 
twelve hundred in your twelve hundred in chest nine sixty. Like what? What is this? Are you kidding me? Why? Why are we doing this? I've let it go on for too long with a bunch of players, and there's a lot of players in our kind of gray area that I'm suspicious of, but I'm not one hundred percent. <clears throat> the level of play is too high, too quick, and too high. Am I lost here? Wow. And he's doing his exams while he plays this game. <sighs> Man, I don't know what to say. I'm just probably busted here as well. Now I have to play Knight B8. Morales sacked a piece. Yeah, I'll have to be more selective. Morales sacked a piece again. I don't understand what I did wrong against Mr. Slowhand. How do I have a lost position in 20 moves? In a variation I looked at a few weeks ago. What the heck? I don't understand. What in the world happened here? This variation is supposed to be better for white. What is going on? I don't understand what I did wrong. I guess it's queen b3 instead of, I couldn't remember queen b3 here. Is 94 a blunder? I'm supposed to play rook takes f3? Something like overtly bad while I was on tilt now. Damn, I guess this rook takes f3. It still looks good for black though. It's a freaking disaster. I mean, there's no way I should be playing like 10 people in these simuls who are playing like flawless master level games. And that's what's happening almost every week. It's out of control. And usually I like tolerate it, but today I just didn't have the, I didn't have the patience for it. You know, I don't want to play you, you guys if you're using a computer. Seriously. There are a number of players I strongly suspect. If I played in my own simul 20 games, I would probably lose to myself a few times, and I'm 2400 rated I am. But those of you that never lose, forget it. Cheesy noob. Stonewall attack suits your style well. Thirteen hundred. I don't know what to say. Is your little brother playing on your account?
Wow. Dr. Tripp, thank you. I had a little bit more patience then. This is tough. I can never play Bishop F4. He has E5 in every position. My god. He really is like Karpov. But Yevgeny is definitely national master. Without the title. I think that's really bogus too. The whole like Lee Chess title events. That's so arrogant and, and wrong. You know. There's a lot of people with really really bogus so called titles. Why should Yevgeny not be an NM? And there's these people running around that are W WCM, who's like 1800. I understand why chess.com does that, but I don't think that Lee Chess should have this title tournament concept, you know? It's so arbitrary, the whole concept of titles. It's totally arbitrary. The title is yesterday I was watching titled arena give me a break all right man I don't know what to do Well, if you keep playing like you do, be Jack, you will. You're playing like a master in this game. Completely, completely master strength by white. Are you kidding me? This is like a master strength positional game. Never be a master, maybe. Only because of official title. But you definitely have the, the level for it. So this is 1300. This is what 1300 is like. This is why I don't want to do these simuls anymore. How can you be 1394? Okay, he's 1658 in classical. Rapid. This is crazy. Decline my draw. You're going to outplay me in an endgame. And you're 1300. Resigns. Morales is scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we have a chance here? Damn. Too many pawns, objectively. Move them, what's up? Titles are arbitrary. Assume my hair. I didn't mention it, but um, Grandmaster Gildario Garcia passed away. And um, he got the GM title at, ironically, 48 years old. I think 48 was what I read. I don't know what to do here. Okay. 
praying for the best. <clears throat> I forgot you could defend that pawn. Say la vie. I have to say I don't enjoy playing <laughs> someone on someone on sound. What did you play previously? He had to pick this, which I know really not well. The bishop d3. That's unbelievable. I mean, bishop e2 is theory. That's crazy. I don't know anything. All I know is like I'm down a pawn in an end game, almost end game. I hate this position. I don't know what to say about it. I hate my position. And I don't like winning by time either. I don't want to beat you because you have five minutes and I have 58 minutes. I want to win on the board if I can. I don't want to beat someone on sound on the clock here. This position just sucks. It's just ridiculous how lost black is here. I'm like a clear pawn down with zero compensation. He played like God. It's funny too, like an aggressive player like someone on sound who is normally gambiting all this material is now playing. He's playing the ultimate like grab a pawn variation. That seems really uncharacteristic for you, someone on sound. Black should actually be the one like trying to take the initiative here. I'm surprised that you would play this. Why would you play a line where you're grabbing a pawn? You're normally like always sacking material. Fried liver and Evans Gambit. You didn't mention the fried liver thing. That's unfortunate for me. Bishop f4. Wish you had mentioned the fried liver part. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. But I'm not trying to win on time. Cheesy Nubes has a defense here. He's like one of the only players with a bad position against me. You saw Rocky for the first time. That's funny. Rocky and Bullwinkle.
what am I supposed to do here? To get mated, like queen f5? Does that get mated? No, queen f5, pawn f5, bishop takes, rook g2. You would do that. My god, that works. Unbelievable. Jim is like basically playing for these sneaky traps. I remember I didn't see ET. I was like the only person in the world that didn't see ET when it came out. It's strange too for a kid my age. E7 is just a clear piece up. Oh yeah, this is great. An enjoyable game. I don't think I have anything there. That's like playing Uber driver. Where's Uber driver? He's notably missing today. Morales has a thing for sacrificing pieces for a bunch of pawns. I think the compensation is rather convincing here. Tilt simul. I guess he's working. I just want to kill myself. This position is is ridiculous. This this is just suicide. I'm up a night, it's a good joke. Uber hasn't been in Simos in a long time, maybe he works Sunday nights. This is like embarrassing for Black. Maybe I can trick him on the clock somehow. My god. I just want to resign, but I've already resigned a bunch of games. I hung a piece against ten year old. That set me set me on the tilt. <laughs> the initial tilt. <sighs> yeah, not much though. It's probably a draw in the notch proper game. If I have a theoretical advantage there, I mean it's not enough to win the game against a strong player. Objectively the position is a draw. I'm a well I'm pretty well aware of that kind of thing. So I often play positions like that myself. I know the difference between a draw and a win pretty well when the advantage is around 1 or 1.5. Against Notch Papa, I just don't have enough. You could win it, Magnus could win it, but it doesn't mean he should. 
I, I just want to resign this position. My God, how did this happen? Morales is like, God, what am I going to do? This is interesting, huh? Objectively, I'm losing. But I have rook d4. Why didn't I have rook d4 last move? No, it doesn't work. It's not so easy. Like, this is crazy. You're dropping a pawn now? Well, it's a draw. But he declined a draw before. <laughs> what kind of 1300, like, wouldn't take a draw against an IM? I don't understand. It just doesn't make sense. Unless you were like clearly winning or something. That's just weird in and of itself. This bishop is, is trapped. I would snap a draw when I was 1300 against the title player, even an NM. I just want to give up, man. I just want to give up. I can't play this anymore. Nice game by Morales. The best game today. Totally crushing. Wow. I can't do that, man. I can't play that position anymore. I know you don't want me to resign, but it's just... I can't be humiliated that way, Morales. Sorry, dude. I can't play that out. I mean, it's just too too crushing. It hurts me to even look at the position, honestly. Really impressive game. My god. So I'm just lost here. I've been lost for a while. This is also... Um, I don't know what to say about this game. Yeah, I think you can safely assume your sacrifice was correct. Pretty, pretty easy to accept that conclusion. I played a weak game against you, but not to take away your, you know, the credit you deserve for legitimately crushing me. I did make some, some weak positional moves, starting with knight to g6, which I think was the wrong square to put my knight on in the first place. VIP Morales. But he's worked this out to a really deep degree. This is a problem. It's super weird, dude. What a position. So Cheesy Noob doesn't lose a piece here. 
It's crazy. Wonder if Queen A6 wins a piece. Nothing wins a piece. This is so weird. He's got his bishops. He's bad with bishops. Oh no. What? A simple tactic? Whoa. Bishop h6. It gets worse. Just when I thought you were gonna like positionally kill me, there was a simple one move tactic. Oh my god. I'm already down a pawn. I'm just lost. Queen h4? Or knight h4? Queen h4. Queen h4, queen f5. <laughs> queen h4, queen f5, pawn f5, bishop f3 check. That looks fun. Dude. Seriously. His king on d8. Of course. Completely safe. Perfectly safe. And absolutely normal. Have the king on d8 here. Mirasacker isn't gonna need to use much time. They sort of pretended to, to use time in the beginning, but they're usually like insanely fast. So I'm not anticipating any time pressure there. 1300. I mean, come on, man. What's with the 1300 rating on that account? I mean, that's just ridiculous. What is that? You have Gany off draw, whatever. I've got nothing. Man, I don't know. I'm not going to beat anybody. I had a weird idea to go here. This is a good game. But black's alright. That pawn on B4 stands. I can even lose. The pawn from hell on h3 now gets worse. What about queen h4? There we go. We get mated on g2 now. No, it doesn't work. Queen h4, rook f1, king f1. Man, this endgame is a freaking nightmare. My god. Look at Jim with the b6 bishop. I mean, the b6, b7. Concept. I'm getting just wailed on by everybody. It's unbelievable how strong my opposition is here. How can Black's King be okay? Knight e4. Just doesn't matter. This is hopeless.
Do I have bishop f7? Did I have that initially? No, it doesn't work. Probably was better to do it initially. This is just lost for black. Completely lost position. I don't want to beat him on time. I've just been lost the whole game. There's nothing I could do. This is just completely lost. Two pawns down, no compensation. I want to resign, but I, I can't, from a competitive standpoint, resign here. I should be lost completely. Bishop f7, queen g5. Bishop g4. Bishop g4 work. Bishop g4, queen g6. Bishop f5. What does it do? Bishop g4, so what? It doesn't do anything. It's unbelievable. I looked at bishop g3. I don't think it was that great. What does this do? So I take it. Now I don't have a dark square bishop. I don't see how that really saves, saves me. But objectively, maybe it was my better try to go for ops colored bishops. I doubt it's enough for, for black to save the position. Probably you're right, it's probably a better try. Maybe my worst simul of all time. <laughs> I can't even find a move. Like what, what the hell is my move in this position? Everything loses. Pawn takes, queen g6, check, resigns. Queen g7, queen e6, check, resigns. Everything loses. It's like, hopeless. It doesn't matter if I have, you know, my opponent has 30 seconds or, or 3 hours there. There's no way I can survive that position. It's almost as bad as the game against Morales. I'm not playing that out. I'm just completely crushed into little pieces. I must have like 10 masters in the simul. The average strength of my opponents must be around 2300. Seriously. Let's let's like analyze the games afterwards. We have some extra time. We can go through some of the games and see the CPU, CPL of my opponents. Rook G6. Rook g6 is always bad. I could play rook h3 and try to survive. That's my best shot here. <sighs> Mira's up to 2100, so uh, almost master um, <clears throat> online rating. Playing very well. This game is depressing, too. I've had a lot of very, very strange, one-sided, entirely... weird games. I'm just getting slaughtered by people. <laughs> this is pretty bad, man. Like, I don't know who should be giving the simul and who should be playing in it, basically. If you look at the games Mr. Slow played, someone on sound, you rallies, you're crushing me like I was in 1800. Everybody's crushing me like I'm in 1800. It's unbelievable. I, I can just resign this too. It's hopeless. I made like one tiny inaccuracy in the opening against Mr. Slow, and I'm just completely busted. Same thing against someone on sound. I 
I can try to play this out, but it's like totally lost. What am I gonna do? I'm just lost. I'm just lost. You're you're F1. Should I play that out? I mean what's there to do? There's no defense. Everybody's level of play is like master strength. It's unbelievable. Almost every single opponent is master strength. Who isn't master strength in the simul? It's ridiculous. Like seriously, maybe Mertesacker, one of the only ones. He's super tricky usually. Jim's gracious enough to offer a draw, though he's better. He doesn't want to rub it in. <laughs> I mean, he's better there. No, thank you for the draw, because you're better. Absolutely. Now I, I'm actually worse than the end game here. This is a really, really unpleasant position. Um, I'm pretty scared, actually. Wow. What am I going to do? I'm not trying to single out Mirasacker and pick on him, but he's literally one of the only players who didn't play like a master. The level here is ridiculous on the average that I faced. You know, I could pick like random people on, on Leech Us and beat them down, you know. Like. 24 to 1. If I just chose completely random players who weren't cheating. But this simul is like, seriously, what is the average level? It's out of control. <sighs> wow. Another one bites the dust. It looks like I'm going to lose this as well. If I don't lose this, I'm going to come really close. Hayes Mira has nine minutes left. King F6 is a little passive. Are you going to let me survive this somehow? I was probably lost against Suma hair for sure. I'm probably lost, I mean, in almost all my games. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, but that's enough you should play for a win, Jim. But you know I'm on tilt. Tilting today. I can't believe we're down to two games. It's crazy. Three. Two. It's just two. We've got to be careful here. Your rating performance fluctuate in real chess over the board heavily. Your best was 2408. What? 
Mr. Slohan, what are you talking about? Over the board. You were 2408 over the board? What are you talking about? You were 2408? In like national rating or something? Whoa. You mean like performance, not rating? You had 2400. You mean performance, not like a rating of 2400. Depending on the opening. I messed up this English really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised you had an ELO rating of 2180. You play very, very, very strongly in certain positions. Oh my god. Miro, I felt made an inaccuracy with, with King F6 here. He could have played King F5. This end game looks very, very dubious for me. Clear pawn down. I just want to look at some games when we're done, because we have a little bit of extra time today. I played bullet, bullet chess myself out of frustration for a period there. I'm going to be back tomorrow if I'm, if I haven't quit chess by then. But I mean, the level of play from my opposition is, is unrealistic. How can everyone be a master? Just unbelievable. Masturbate. All right, what are we gonna do? We gotta get the king, king in. He's clear pawn up in an end game after this. Check is probably necessary. So our pawns are on the correct color on the king side, but he's a clear pawn up. I don't really like my chances here. <laughs> Looks very, very bad. That other game. Wait, what? King f5 would have prevented me from playing g4. Now he might still be winning, but I mean, it's not so easy. This h pawn is difficult to, to get in the game. 
I have to play bishop a4 and then drag my king back the other side. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I have to play bishop a4. This, this is... Unless he's going to mate himself. Speaking of which... Now I have to play it. It looks bad. I'm gonna have furniture on a4. I don't think so easy, Dr. Tripp. He's up a clear pawn here. Wait, you just blundered, mate? We got lucky against Sumaher, who was probably winning that game. Me if it's a draw or a loss. I think Asumahair was winning for sure. We're going to be back to play Blitz tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Well, what do I do now? We hang out. Let's just hang out. Hey. We'll just hang out. Pretty awkward <laughs> position, man. I don't know. Bishop f5 check, king g3. Can't let his king in. King must not be allowed to penetrate my position, but I'm not sure if I can prevent it forever. I don't like this end game. Pawns in the wrong color. I mean, it's worse than just being down a pawn. I'm down a pawn with a pawn in the wrong color. This is a mistake. I guess. Why did I let him play that? If my pawn was on b2, it would be a draw, but I don't think it is here.
Maybe after this move, there's a chance to draw. He just blundered. Objectively, I think King G6. King F6. Eventually, he should be able to make progress. We didn't play this well. Both of us. Now, it may be a draw. He's allowed my king to have a very good position at e5. <clears throat> king g7 or king g6. King e5, king f7. And then what? Now it's like a clear, clear chance for a draw. <laughs> I have e4. Is my king in the square of the pawn? Um, <laughs> where is the square of the pawn? Here. Not inside the square of the pawn. I'm thinking about e4. e4, bishop takes d5, next move, e4, bishop, bishop c4, bishop a2, e4, bishop a2, bishop d5, bishop d5, pawn d5, b3, d6, Dr. Trip. We really shouldn't be suggesting moves when we're playing like one-on-one -on -one against like somebody. I don't need that kind of help. <laughs> you know, I am an international master. Supposedly, you know, I don't know. Though I understand I don't play like one, at least not today. Sometimes like people forget when we get down to like one game, it's, it's, um, it's not good to suggest <laughs> moves. Um, now I've got to find a different move. e4, bishop c4, bishop d5, b3, ouch. No, that doesn't work. Bishop d5, pawn d5, b3, d6, b2, d7, queen, queen. I should be good there. This should work. Famous last word. Work. Word. Whatever. Word. So bishop d5. Biggins. I hope I'm not losing my queen to some sort of weird trap. I'm bigoting. Not seeing how I'm, I'm losing my queen here, fortunately. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be a winning end game. Not easy win, but if I'm not stuck with a pawn on b3 and I'm pawn down, I can hold it. But with a pawn down and the pawn on the wrong color, I suspect I'm probably lost. If, hey, it's Miro plays that correctly. Sorry, guys. Bad simul today. I went on tilt. Nine wins, eight draws, seven losses. But, I mean, th there's a lot of players I really don't want to face anymore. Why did Cheesy Noob resign?
Cheesy Noob, did you lose on time? Because you, you didn't really lose a piece here. He just didn't like his position, I guess. He's really, really crushed strategically, like I was losing against Morales. And this, this is really bad. Minus four, like, positionally. All right. Yeah, you're allowed to resign. We left Cheesy Noob with bishops. Um, the Morales game. This is crazy, dude. 23 CPL. But apparently he did make a blunder. Morales is not an engine. But it's amazing how fast it got so bad. What looked like a harmless, safe position. I missed something here. What? The computer says there's like a tactic for black, but what, what in the world could I possibly have here? I don't understand. It's like minus 0.7Y. Why is this better for me? I don't get it. Rook c8. So he drifted against Morales. You did a good job. I went from plus one, exchanging my bishop on f3 for no reason. And then he just took me out strategically. Look at these knights. My god. A beautiful peace sacrifice. <laughs> Jim played a great game. He's slightly better. This was like 20 CPL. I just resigned. Oh, it's a draw. No, this was a draw. Right. Yeah, that was 20 CPL. This game, another one. I give up. It creeps me out when people don't make any pawn moves. Alright. The game against Mirdasacker, he played poorly. I'm not here to show my wins. This game by slow hand, I don't understand. I don't understand what the heck happened. So, wow. This variation is main line. Wow. I'm supposed to play queen b3 first. I couldn't remember. It's not clear though. That's what the, the theory says. I had looked at this once and I thought it was okay, but he just takes on e4. And I lost in like just a couple of moves, it's unbelievable. He takes f3. I half take with a rook. How did I lose this game? Like in just a couple of moves, it's unbelievable. Knight d4. My king is open. That's it, man. Pawn on e3. I traded queen's big mistake here. I didn't realize how, how I'm just losing g g4, e2 immediately. It's just crushing. I just reflexively play queen b3. It's ops colored bishops. I have to be super careful. But I was terrified of the, the threats on the white squares.
18 CPL from, from Mr. Slow with one blunder. Apparently, it's a mistake to play e takes f3. Like a big mistake. I should take with a rook and I'm attacking e3. And he loses e3. I'm completely okay. Yeah, I don't know who gifted the sub. I think it was Mr. Slowhand, but it could have been. It must have been Mr. Slow. I think we thanked whoever it was. It could have been Schieberspieler. I don't remember which one was which. Astrobeat just, just gave up. Dude, you dropped out. We had a player who dropped out there against Sul Militra. This Amiiboid game, I just resigned because he's unbeatable. Um, it started to upset me. My internet seems to have dropped out. What's up? Are we still on? It looks like our internet is still on, but, but I can't... My Lee Chest is messed up. Maybe Lee Chest is crashing. It looks like Lee Chess is, is kind of crashing. We got serious problems with Lee Chess. What is going on here? Or maybe my internet is in the process of crashing. I can't. I can't. Um, yeah, someone on Sound Game. I can't even leave this page. I cannot analyze anything. What's wrong with um with my my internet? Now it's back. We're back. No, sadly. Unfortunately, you know, I don't know who I'm playing and I got into a line I don't know. You know, this is the danger with, with not knowing theory and playing it anyway. All I know is this, you know, is book and that's about it. This variation is not good enough for black. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. H6 is a mistake. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've never really studied this line. I don't really play E4, E5 much with black, and I never play Knight C6. I would play the Petrov, maybe. So apparently this is, like, really bad. You have to play Knight D5 directly, and I got the lines confused. That tempo is very vital. I didn't want to take the bishop, but I didn't know what else to do. Here. Even Moisienko has a game where he won with black here. My god. At least I'm not the only one who doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> I guess this is a mistake. Enabling White's development. I think I played this guy. Karim Ismail. He beat me when he was like 2100. Castles. F4. And apparently I'm okay, but I played F5, which was only the second best move. There's no room for playing the second best move against someone on sound. I thought, okay, I'm nice and active. Apparently, bishop c5 is a mistake. Who would have known? But, you know, chasing his king to a safer square was probably a bad idea. But my knight is sick, of course. It's like classic for this variation. I have to not play bishop c5 check. Take here immediately. 
But I still don't like Black's position. The knight on a5 is... It's a disaster. I would never play this in a long game. I would just never... I wouldn't touch this position with a 100-foot pole for Black. It just sucks. So this whole variation just sucks. I mean, Black can't play h6. It's just too weak. So sadly, I mean, essentially I like lost the game in the opening. This looks like computer suggestion. Or this, which is more well known. Yeah, I mean, this this is already risky, but you gotta know what you're doing. So someone on sound, unfortunately, that wasn't my, my good opening <laughs> against you. Check out Amoeboid. So we had all book and I just offered a draw. But did I do something wrong here? I don't understand what I did wrong, I guess, would be my question. What did I do wrong? King H1, it's all engine. I mean, opening explorer. So this is a mistake, apparently, bishop f7. Again, my theory, I'm theoretically out of book here. I'm supposed to play rook c8. I didn't know that. Well, we definitely didn't play this variation last time. I know that we played a, a bishop d3. Something was different. This, um... What are the chances I would play the Grunfeld against the same player when I only play it in one game in the simul? It would be against the exact same player. I mean, I play like 10 different openings. The chances of that are almost infinitesimal. Yeah, I know, but I mean, the, the chances of that are so small, it's like ridiculous. I only know this far, theoretically. Blavix, good to see you. Yeah, b -Jack, sorry. We can look at that. You were winning. Never find the game I want to find. I don't understand. Are there games not on this list here? What is going on, man? I can't find it. Is this not the entire list? I always have trouble with your name. I'm looking for a different name. Sumaher. It's not here. There it is. All right. Blavix, thanks for being a subscriber. Yeah, so White was totally winning. It's Arena Crush versus Subaru, man. I didn't realize A6 is inaccurate. There's my opening knowledge again. So this is inaccurate. I have to play Queen C7 first. Still not a great line for black, though. Bishop D3 is, I think, best. It's much more active. You're playing for the control of e4 here. It's funny that like there's six games that should be two, but that's completely wrong. White's definitely better here. It's unbelievable. Six games and white didn't win any. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. White is just better, man. I mean, it's unbelievable. I've had this before in a blitz game against somebody, and I hated my position. This is just clearly better for white. So this is Irina against Subraman. It's a strong woman player from India. Black's position is, is borderline bad. Now we've transposed back into something. Cordish held 
Fortich actually won against Ivan in 1994. It's Black's still worse. So it looks like Lyosh played G takes F here and went on to win the game, but my god, like look at Black's position. Mr. Slohan, thanks for the wishes. Thanks for your support. See you. Have a good week. Um, this is just all, all theory. Well, bad theory for Black, in my opinion. So this was a weird move. You should play this. Although it does trade pieces. That's a normal idea. Bishop B2 was passive. At first I thought I was okay. But I just drifted. This is a very strong move. No, oh, I don't like Black's game. There's two games here, four games here where Black didn't lose, but I mean, I'm just worse. There's no... No safety for my king. Maybe if I just put my king on e7 right away or something. Yeah, it's not, not easy for black to play this. Don't like this position. I did put my king, but it's not good enough. Knight t4, exclamation point. And I tried to find some sort of plan here for black. But you're threatening b4, b5. I mean, this is the problem. That's why I'm in trouble. If you play b4, b5 and then plan a knight on c6, black can give up. That's why I played, I moved my knight away. This is crushing. I mean, black's just lost strategically. Rook d4 is also a very strong maneuver. So apparently this was your blunder. This is hard to see. <laughs> I have to go back to f8 because here, queen f3, and I'm getting mated, or losing my queen. Wow. If queen h5, queen f4. You saw this? So you have to play rook g4, that wins, but then play this, and now I'm alive. It's kind of a miracle. And I was okay once I got my knight on g6. Surprising you're winning even here with e4. Frankly, I almost played, um, I think I almost played queen e4 here, because I was afraid of e4. And then I didn't like this end game, but that might have been my best move. Yeah, I was nervous about this end game because of f5. I, I saw stuff like this and I didn't like it, so I didn't play queen e4. But after this, apparently you're, you're still, still almost winning or winning. Now, this was a bad, bad game. I wouldn't play this line. It's also bad. But at the end, I'm okay. You missed your attacking chances, but they weren't that easy to see. I mean, e4 you should have seen. The, the other thing was kind of tricky. So... What else? One last game. I guess to left, I don't know what happened. And... The queen f6 player left. Who was that? Sumitra. Sumitra. Ruslan, I just resigned. I'm tired of playing Bullet. Cheesy Noob got outplayed. Jim's game. Um, take care, guys. See everybody tomorrow. Thanks for playing in the Tilt Simul.
Yeah, well, that line I just played in a classical limzo is very easy to find yourself. And this was a disaster. It's funny that there's only one game with A5. My god, I hated this game. Well, nothing's wrong with this move, though. There's no way I can take advantage of this. Okay, there is somebody who played F4. That's the computer move. Maybe, like, Miralis wouldn't play this. Technically, I can play F4, but that doesn't look so convincing, and it looks very risky. Still F4 <coughs> is best. So I decided to play this weird plan here. And I guess this is just bad. But I saw King H1, H5, and I didn't like it. This was the only reason why I played bishop e3. I seriously think you can do this. Maybe there's a way, though, that it doesn't work. This is the only reason. The, the fishing pole thing would like knight g4. So I guess this is just garbage, bishop e3. I didn't think it would be that big a deal, but it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. My structure is bad, and he has queen g5 quickly. So one move, I got myself in, in a huge hole. It's terrible. Teddy Lakebreaker just subscribed. Can't imagine who that is. That's all we need is another strong player. This is a disaster. What's up, Teddy? Thanks for subscribing. Teddy Legbreaker. It's even better than Uber Driver. You missed my tilt simul. Guys, we're going to wrap it up pretty soon. I'm just taking a look at this. This is crazy what I did here. Legbreaker is a very strong player, so hopefully he'll come by once in a while. What's up, man? Long time no see. Thanks for tuning in. Fellow, fellow former New England master. God, this is bad. But you freaked me out with this crazy thing, man. I know this is normal, but I never had it accelerated so much. Black's playing a5, rook h6 so early here. My refutation was like f4, but I didn't want to play it. I didn't want to play f4 so quickly. That's the best chance, though. Yeah, man, I'm hanging in there. It's great to see you. Hopefully you can come by sometime, play some games. Our time zone is a little different. Um, great to see somebody from, from, uh, the old days. So this was a disaster tonight. Very, very tough bunch though. These guys. So Morales, you're the expert in this variation. You don't like, um, yeah, stop by man. Play some games. Knight G3, you, you got me. I played this garbage move, and my structure is just shot. Black plays this. Look how bad I am. He just plays b6 and bishop b7 in this diagonal, and all the time there's like these queen sacrifices with queen f5. It's horrible for white. This position is a disaster. Oh yeah, this is the classic 
Budapest Maneuver, man. Even I've played it with Black here on the stream. And I don't really play the Budapest much. Yeah, that's ever that's everybody's favorite trick. So you traded off your knight on e5. Maybe, you know, that's not best. You're still better, but it is a really criminal act to trade such a powerful knight for that bad bishop on f3. Despite all the tactical stuff you had, you know, lots of cheapos with queen f5 sacking your queen and stuff. Objectively, that's a bad move. So you need to just up, the computer says just up the pressure. Yeah, this, this position is awful for me. I played like a potser. I mean, to allow pawn takes e3. Yeah, normally I don't play this line. You guys know that I'll play other stuff. I don't normally like to play e3. Bishop f4 is, is better. Uh, that's my preferred line, definitely. Miralis, of course. Once Simon Williams played this against me. Well, no, not that. What is it? The check? What is that line? No, I'm thinking of something else, maybe. There was some line where black plays like d6. Oh, this, right? There's this weird line with d6 sacking a pawn. That's what Williams played against me in a blitz tournament in Hastings, and I was, like, confused. But this is supposed to be nothing, too. It's a good try, I guess, to be tricky. If I guess White doesn't know what he's doing, he could get in trouble. That's funny, there was another Napomniachi in 1994. Maybe that's Napomniachi's dad or something. Alright guys, I gotta go. It's, it's a late one. Tilt Simul is over. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Great to see Teddy and everybody else. We'll be um, we'll be doing some blitz tomorrow at uh, at 11 a.m. CT. I'm gonna get some rest. Turn off the tilt. Tilt simul is over. We finished with a plus score. 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thanks everybody for playing. I'm disappointed in myself. I want to do better. We'll see you back on the stream next week. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Thanks to Mr. Coffee for for being moderator. I'll see y'all later. Take care.